Hello, my friends, uh, and six subscribers. Oh, hold up. Say hello to the Conan Tough figure. I forgot to turn my camera around because I'm a dingus. Uh, but we finally got spoilers, more spoilers, for Throne of Eldraine today. Finally. Uh, I'm sorry about the lack of uploads. Uh, I, I just kind of stopped making content there for a minute. I, I was working on stuff, but then just kind of lost the flavor for it. Um, when they started announcing um, the the pre-cons when the command zone was just like we're gonna show all the pre-cons I was like well shit which I'm fine with I wasn't complaining I was just like well that's what I was gonna do uh, but of course that's that's their whole shindig because they have the partnership or whatever um yeah we got we, okay we've known about uh, Flaxen Intruder we didn't know what it did till today uh and Throne of Eldrain has this weird book mechanic thing going on here where there's like two parts to every card now which is super cool uh, these specifically are for the, these these two cards here are specifically in the uh, the extra expensive cards packs. Uh, these th this art I'm pretty sure will not appear in normal booster packs for Throne of Eldraine. You have to purchase the collector's edition or whatever the whatever the heck it's gonna be. But they are incredibly sick. Like. Also, Love Struck Beast. Hello. This is this is reference to Beauty and the Beast. This is reference to Goldilocks, of course. Uh, but holy cow! Look at this freaking artwork, dude. Look at the look at this border. Like, woof, woof. We we are killing it over here. Uh, we finally got. Oh, excuse me. We got the the new Planeswalker today too. Oko, Thief of Crowns. Forbes of all people we got to show that off today. Uh, but it looks super sick. Like. Holy cow. It, let, let's get into the cards. Oh, excuse me. I just had some chili. Love Struck Beast is two generic and one green. Uh, for a creature, Beast Noble. I think that's a new creature type, right? Noble? I don't think we've had Noble before. It's a rare. Uh, it has these two sides. So what's really weird about these cards is they have like a spell. Not well, all cards in Magic are spells. Uh, but like a sorcery side and a creature side? Um, you can tell. Obviously, you would cast it this way if you wanted this side. I'm, I'm guessing, of course. Uh, and this, you would cast it for one green if you wanted this side. Same with Goldilocks over here. Uh, but the sorcery side, uh, adventure side, sorcery adventure. It's called Heart's Desire. This is this is weird. Uh, create a one-one white human creature token for one mana. Okay. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Uh, Love Struck Beast, oh for if you were to normally cast it, Love Struck Beast can't attack unless you control a 1-1 one -one creature. His mind chooses solitude, but his heart disagreed. Okay. I mean, that's a weird creature, but I like it. Uh, probably gonna be good in like a Togans deck, obviously. We're gonna be making a lot of 1-1s. One -one. Selesnya, hello, here's your new best friend. It'd be really cool if I had like Trample or something too, but uh, maybe they don't want to push these too hard. Which I'm, I'm sad if they don't... If they do this mechanic, and sometimes Wizards is very bad when they do stuff like this, they'll introduce like a really cool mechanic, and then they won't make any good cards for that mechanic. They'll, they'll water it down because they're a little scared to push that boundary, or they, they don't want to have to insta-ban something in standard. Um, and, and like, I get that, but it, it'd be a real shame if none of these cards were good. Like, this isn't like, holy shit, whoa! Uh, and neither is Goldilocks over here, really. But it's still cool, you know. Of course, they're not gonna show off the big bads uh, on the first day of spoilers, which it was weird that we didn't get any over the weekend at PAX, by the way. And a shout out to that. Like, what, what was up with that breaking tradition? Uh, Flex and Intruder over here. Oh, he's a five-five. I don't think I said that, but five-five, sure. Uh, Flex and Intruder over here. One mana for Goldilocks over here. Is a one-two uh, human berserker, another creature, uncommon. And again, you can only get this specific arts for these two in the Collector's Edition packs. Uh, it has Welcome Home as its uh, adventure sorcery side. For five generic and two green, create three 2-2 two, two green creature bear tokens. Bear creature tokens. There's your Goldilocks and the three bears. Uh, but if you were to normally cast this for its creature, its creature side, uh, whenever... F I'm just going to say Goldilocks deals combat damage to a player. You may sacrifice it when you do destroy target artifact or enchantment. Okay. That's... I mean, I don't like it. It's kind of... It's just less good Rexage, but it's 
it's cool. I mean, I think it's very flavorful. Arguably one of the more flavorful cards we've gotten in a very, very long time. Not that they've been bad lately, but like the... the I just feel this. Like the Goldilocks and the three bears, it makes... Oh my gosh, you can cast it as Goldilocks, or you can make three bears. Like, I'm really feeling this. In draft, this is going to be pretty solid too, I actually think. Uh, in limited, at least, it's going to be really good. Maybe not really good. Let's see the rest of the set. But I, I like where this is going. It's like, late game, you get three bears. Early game, if it attacks, you can destroy something. Or when it deals combat damage, you can destroy something. That's pretty good. Now, for the thing you've been looking at this whole time and have probably already read, Oko the Oh wait, am I recording? Okay, holy shit. <laughs> Oko... Oko, Thief of Crowns. This guy... Is this guy just gonna be Rakan? I was reading uh, the Forbes thing. He's just... He's supposed to be, like, kind of indifferent, sort of cocky, too. Like... This is just Rakan. Look at this guy. He's just kind of, like, lackadaisical. Probably thinks of himself very full... Full of himself. Shirtless. Ooh, ooh. What's going on here? See that little... Anyway. Uh, one generic green and blue... Legendary Planeswalker, Oko. Uh, he has a plus two called Create a Food Token. We'll get back to speculation on that, because I could talk about this forever. Th what, what, the he what the heck is this? What is going on here? He has another plus one, or a plus one, on top of his plus two. Uh, which, just, uh, target artifact or creature loses all abilities and becomes a green elk creature with base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. That, that's, that's pretty good, actually. Exchange control of target artifact or creature you control you control and target creature and opponent controls with power three or less. So he comes down, you can either plus two him and then minus five him on the next turn and still keep him, or you can plus one on minus five him on the next turn and lose him, and also remove a thing, assuming you know he doesn't lose any uh, loyalty between then. I really like this because it there's no until end of turn on this, so you just this is a pretty solid three mana removal spell in sort of in uh, Simic colors. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's one of those like a uh, trans transmog kind of uh, kind of effects a big fan of or the the frog one I can't think of that just turns something into like a zero one green frog or the uh, beast within turns it into a three three beast thing. Uh, it's pretty solid honestly those cards if you're not playing with them you absolutely should. They're all like uncommons too. Uh, great in commander for those colors. You, I've learned lately that more single target removal is very important. Uh, now for this food token, we've seen um, we've seen the gingerbread man art, and uh, I'm assuming it's gonna relate to that. Like they're gonna be creature type, token type, food. Um, what that does exactly? I've only I've been thinking about this for a little bit throughout the day. Like I just decided to check to see if maybe there were more spoilers today. It's kind of late in the day, so maybe they they make some more. And they did. They, they showed off this dude, uh, and this young lady here finally got her text, her name, etc. And uh, <clears throat> so I've had time to think about what what just is a food token. I'm assuming it's something along the lines of you can um, sack it, maybe gain some life, uh, certain uh, other creatures or artifacts, abilities, whatever, will, if you have a food token, do X, Y, Z, gain, uh, give something, it, it, it grows, gives it more power and toughness, because it consumes the food, uh, potentially it has haste, because it's like, oh, I just had a gingerbread man, therefore, uh, I have the extra sugar, I'm bouncing off the walls, something silly like that, um, but food token. If you guys have any ideas, throw them down in the comments. I don't really want to make this video too much longer. I want it to be kind of short and sweet because it's only a few cards. I don't really like making videos over three cards. It seems kind of silly to do so. And not silly, uh, but I like having more things to talk about than just three things. There's definitely a lot of speculation with what the, just what the heck is a food token, you know? We, we don't know anything. I don't think the Forbes article talked about it too much. I'll, I'll open it, check it out, but I'm, I don't think it did. Token, oh yeah, see, it doesn't directly explain what the, what a token does. Function, rules, it means we can expect food to be one of the main mechanics in Throne of Eldraine set, which might also explain why some of them ended, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, see, edible gingerbread men in the, oh, what the heck, they've been, <laughs> they've been sending people gingerbread men lately? Can I get a picture of that? 
Ah, okay, yeah. Well, that's cute. <laughs> His arm's broken. Uh, man, this is what I want. This, this right here is what I want. Like, I'm not trying to get huge or anything here, but if Wizards were to send me cookies, man, like, that's the shit. Screw $3. Send me cookies. That's... <laughs> it's one of the cooler things Wizard has done lately. Uh, oh, uh, nope, you don't need any business with that. So, food token. Uh, again, I think I was, I was pretty right on with the gingerbread man thing. We don't know what it's going to do exactly, but maybe the gingerbread man thing is the, the token art for food. Maybe that's just what that is. I'll put a picture of, of up of what that is. Of the gingerbread man art. Um, but I think I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, I was... Just, just editing up that last video, or well, not last, last recording, and boom, bam! Oh, oh almost knocked over my Dr. Pepper. Oh, excuse me. We got like six more cards in between me uh, editing that video. Uh, mm, I, I haven't even read them yet. I was, I, I was just like, oh, you know, maybe. Maybe they released a few more cards uh, while I'm recording. Uh, I know this has happened to some other YouTubers. L R R M T G. Okay, that's some YouTube thing. We'll go to him. Check that dude out or whatever. Dude, lady, whomever. Let's go over these. <laughs> I guess they were just like more cards. At 9.30 p.m. My time. Run away together. Let's run away together. Like, like subscribe this video if you want to run away with me. Choose two target creatures controlled by different players. Return. Oh, so you bounce something you control, but I like that. That is actually pretty good. Virtue is virtue. Whatever the heart wants nurtures it. Whatever the heart that nurtures it. Okay. Wishful Merfolk. We saw this beautiful art for it. Um. Oh gosh. It's Merfolk coming back or potentially Defender Merfolk. That's probably the first one for that. Loses Defender becomes a human. Ooh. That's spicy. That's flavor, friends. That's delicious. Look at that. For common. Wishing well. Uh, of course, we gotta have a wishing well when we're talking about this kind of stuff. One blue mana for an artifact. I love... Whoever had the idea to make artifacts have this border, this colored border for the color they are. Again, thank you. That's so good. Wishing well, which is Battlefield Scry 2 for one mana. That's pretty good. Sacrifice to draw two cards. Excuse me? I mean, this is five mana, scry two, draw two. That's... It's not bad. I like that. That's okay. And of course, look at this red one. I, I was glimpsing at this, and this looks like... Compared to this... What the... What the fudge? What is this? What is... Does blue really need something like this? It's not great, but Jesus. This is... This is... This makes this look like crap. They're not crap, but... It is giving your creatures plus one, plus one haste, which maybe that's actually better. Never mind. Uh, but I, I think I just like the value of one blue mana scrying too. Like, I like that. I like scrying a lot. And then eventually, like, okay, this is useless. Draw two cards. This is just like, I mean, okay, it, it eventually just becomes give one mana, give your creature haste, then enter the battle for this turn. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I like that. And of course, it's a glass slipper. Uh, uh, these two cards go together. Beauty and the Beast type shit. No, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, that other Disney movie. Cinderella. Yes, that's Cinderella. Crystal Slipper. Mm. That in foil would look beautiful, though. Holy cow. And this in foil would look ridiculous. Oh my god. Let's get to this land, though. We got a land. Uh, which is cottage enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three or more other swamps. Okay. Uh, when enters the battlefield untap, uh, untapped, you may put target creature from your graveyard on top of your library. That's still good. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go sneak over to the other dude's YouTube really quick. I'm gonna cut the video a little bit here, and I'll be back. All right, no, that that was pretty much it for all that. That'll be a really quick edit for me. Just boop, boop, it's out. I'm gonna refresh really quick. I almost don't even want to make the freaking video now because it's like, look, more cards are coming. I'm gonna safely assume, and I'll just make a video tomorrow. I don't worry tomorrow, so I'll just make a video tomorrow if some something else comes up. But holy cow, guys. <laughs> more cards. And a, 
Look at the artwork. This is, I mean, this is, these two are still pretty cool. But whoa. Ooh, I mean, that one's pretty good too. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is the Commander Precons down here. F that. You know what's up with that, but... Big fan. Really big fan of what's going on here. This time for real. Uh, the, vi the video's over. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. Tell me what. Tell me which one of these you're probably most hyped for. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I want to know what the heck a food token is. What's up with this? Uh, I kind of like this. This is actually isn't that not as bad as I thought it was. Paying one mana to give something haste essentially and plus one plus oh. It's not that bad. Um, these two are really cool. Again, the artwork is on freaking top, top, tippity top of the spear there. This is cool. Flavor win, big flavor win. Tell me which one's your favorite. Like, comment, share, subscribe the video. Thank you. <laughs>